reckoning has come. Good evening and welcome to TTT Radio Network. Police have reported that a man's body has been washed up on the seafront this morning in Alfracombe. It appears that the seaside strangler has struck again. Another one, Daddy. Oh, let's turn it off. You don't want nightmares, sweetie. It's not the season, sweetie. It's been three months since we've had a paying guest here. Don't worry, we'll have a businessman come along soon or something. Someone who just wants a dirty, disgusting weekend away from their wife. Dad? Yes, sweetie? Why did Mum have to die? It was her time, sweetie. Does the seaside strangler decide when it's our time? No, sweetie. But she was young and happy. It was... It was God's plan. She's with God now. She, you know, she can... She can cook now, probably. She wouldn't burn all the dinners and... Uh, and she probably wouldn't... nag as much. Let's hope not, Daddy. Let's hope so. Unless I really need better on the story. Combing my hair. I can comb your hair for you. Really? Of course. Ow, Daddy. Mm. 
well, your hair's all greasy and... Oh, when was the last time you cleaned it? As usual, every six months, like Mum said. <sighs> your hair will wash itself. But mine didn't. No, it's... I think you should clean it on a normal basis. Tell you what, every three months, I'll remind you. This is Peter McGinty reporting live from the sunny seaside town of Alfricum. A local resident reported a streaker on the beach yesterday afternoon, but it was deemed to be at the local nudist beach in the area. The nudist beach is put Alfricum on the map here. A lady in her 80s was walking her dog and saw a nude man walking toward her. She had a heart attack, but is recovering in the local hospital. Let's play the happy clappy song. Men are evil, women are kind. Never show a man you're behind. Kicking, cleaning, ironing too, and a you flew. Next bit, okay. He has a BP, mummy has a badge. If you your daddy, then you get a badge. Back to your collection when you get ten. It will take you to the suit. I win, you lost, which means that I'm the boss. Yeah, but you're a loser in life, really, so we're about even. You your jokes. I love the zoo, daddy. I love this song. Yeah, me too, sweetie. Me too. Can we go to the zoo soon, Daddy? Oof, well... How many badges do you have? Nine. Hmm. Well, we'll see, sweetie. We'll see. We have an urgent broadcast. The Seaside Strangler is still at large. Police are advising people in the area to stay indoors until further notice and do not go out alone. I repeat, do not go out alone. Cherries and tops been covered with chocolate sprinkles. No, no, just uh, egg and cheese and apple for tea tonight. Yum! You know what happened last time? Hello, Papa. It's so good to see you. Do you want to play Cappy? <sighs> Don't get him excited. It always gets overly excited when he's about you. No, no, Daddy. Can I see Brother's face? I've never seen it in the flesh before. No, no, you... You've got a picture of it. Oh. See? He has a great moustache, He does. Yeah, it's a fine one. Have we got any pictures of Umbrella or Snot? No. You know, we didn't want to scare the women at Snappy Snaps. Have we got any clothes of Umbrella or Snot? I think Mum put some in the closet. Not that much stays in the closet. Ah, there it is. There you are. 
so cute. Can I keep it in my room? Yeah, but I think you might need to wash it first. It's it's a bit messy and yeah, it's a bit messy. A bit messy. I think he soiled it much as he's soiled his suit now. Brothers had to die. This one's not gonna die, is he? No, somehow I think he won't. Why doesn't brother eat with us? Oh, because he's such a messy fucking eater. He's <laughs> just like your mother. No table manners at all. You know I'm a stickler for table manners. What does he eat? He has milk with vitamins in it in a glass which he drinks through his favourite plastic straw, don't you? That sounds wonderful. Can I have my tea tonight? No, no, we've got ap eggs, apple and cheese tonight. He can't have that, he gets egg bound and then, well, no, you don't want that. Can we go for walkies tonight? Yeah, why not, we can do that. Where are we going to go? Um, shall we go to the dogging area? <gasps> yes, yes, I yes. really want to go to the dogging area. He's singing the dogging song. Yes, and brother would like that, wouldn't he? I'm a dog and you're a dog. Beware of the doggies. If you see one, cover up. If you see the black and light, run for your life. Pretend I'm your partner so dad can have fun. Never take it up the beach is the best place to be. It's a dogged life for me. Right. Bora's getting too excited. I think we should probably go for a walk now, shouldn't we? Shall we? Yes. Put the lead on. Come on, brother. Oh. At last, we are here. Thank God. Oh, this place is fantastic. I feel like a millionaire. We had holidays in caravans in Cornwall when I was growing up. This is anything but a holiday. A nightmare, maybe. It will do. The temporary base, far away from anywhere. And yes, Gav's right. We need to treat this like a holiday and blend in with the locals. <laughs> locals? What locals? We haven't seen anyone in over 30 minutes. It's so dark and creepy. Oh, don't worry, Luce. You can come in with me if you like. I thought of that is actually more scary. <laughs> right! So what's going to happen? I mean, we can't stay here forever, can we? We've got to go back at some point. I know, but it's just too dangerous right now. Did we do the right thing? Of course! It just uh, didn't go quite fully to plan. Didn't quite go to plan? <laughs> well, that's an understatement. What happened back there? Why did they turn so quickly? I don't know. Maybe they'd already been exposed to the virus. <sighs> what we did, it was just humane. <laughs> I can't unsee it. Every time I close my eyes, I can just see all that blood. We tried our best. That's all we could do. Hopefully, we've exposed what they were really doing in there. Are we going to be safe? Only time will tell. Keep listening to the news. For the next few days, if we've managed to save one life, it'll be worth it. Was it, though? 
What if we infected it? That security guard died because of us. One life. To potentially save thousands. If not millions. And what if they'd use it as a weapon? Right. Has everyone deleted all emails, texts, messages, web searches? That's not good enough. We need to completely get rid of our phones. There's no signal here, or even Wi-Fi, so they're less than useless. Come on. Thank you. Right, I'm going for a smoke. I'm going to go throw these in the sea and move the car. Good idea. Could they chase us? No. This used to be my uncle's holiday home. I haven't been here since I was a child. My cousins own it. I use it for summer holidays and things. There's a key always hidden out the back so family members can use it. He uses a guest house in the summer. But there's a connection. Ha! Huh, hardly. I haven't been here since I started masturbating. Have we got enough food here? Well, there's easily enough food we ration it out. We won't starve. I'll make sure of that. But how do we know we weren't infected? None of us were cut, fixed, or scratched. But what if the virus is everywhere? We were in there for over 10 minutes and the others have masks on. Don't worry. We can't be worrying about the what ifs. It'll drive us crazy. What if it was put directly in the water? We could have been drinking contaminated water for months. Look, we made it out. We're still sandy. Chill. Is that a good thing? So many are dead already. Being poisoned by the media. It's all lies. It's a war that no one will win. Brexit will lead to ethnic cleansing. If they had the ability to turn it into a weapon, they would have used it on their own people, their own homelands. Government priests, terrorists, not radicalisation. What if we've done more bad than good? We have exposed who was really in control. Who created the virus? But what if we've exposed the virus? What if the pathogen is airborne? We are not infected. Or at least, we're not showing any signs of infection. And if I am dead, I won't know anything about it when the coming back as my body will just be a host for the infection. I see what you mean. So you're saying that we could all be infected by the airborne pathogen, but it lies dormant until we as the host die. Well, that's great. Not great, but if one of us dies, the other ones are the ones at risk. We are probably all okay. Let's not worry about it, eh? What ifs? We're so much better. And we were setting animals free and contesting. It was so much easier. I think we've gone too far this time. Too far? We, as always, are exposing the government, the guilty parties, saving lives. This isn't saving rabbits or dogs or cats or even monkeys. What we've done is save the world. A war between races. Who are we? United Lives Matter! That's what we are. All races, all colours, all lives. What we believe in caring and saving lives, any life, maybe an animal or a human. I love the taste of bacon, but I sacrifice that for the greater good. I love chickens. But yes, but thousands of chickens are killed every day. At no point, they're just left in rubbish while their expiry dates run out. We're not talking about chickens. We're talking about a virus with unknown capability. What's the difference? How many times have we released animals? God knows what they've been tested on. We could have already been infected in some way. Unless we make a difference, who will? I don't think it matters. Look, they're going to have to deal with the pictures that we posted online. Everyone will know the truth. It's a shame. It was much easier being tied to railings. Look, this isn't doing us any good sitting here moping. We can't see the effects we've made, what we've done. We couldn't from the prison cell either. And this is the safest place? Yes. We are miles from anywhere. We can as safe as we can expect to be. Well, let's just wait it out. We should be proud that we did something. Yes.
here is to a better future. Without racism, greed, envy, or terrorism. To peace. And harmony. United Lives Matter. All, All lives. lives. this time to catch up with some box sets. Who's with me? No, not if it's your medieval swords and sorcery shit. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You only like teachers who tell me to drop things, don't you? You know me too well. Have we got any videos then? <laughs> videos? Are we in the fucking 80s? Don't tell me you brought your VHS with you. It's all download now, Peter. Right, have we got any films then? Yes, on my phone which is useless. So I've got some TV series on DVD that were bought for me as a present. Pretty archaic, really. How are our families know that we're safe? Yes, yes, I, I told them I was going on a business meeting away for the weekend. Me too. Same here. I just hope my relatives see my cat. Well, I'm sure they will. Yeah, but I didn't say how long for. Don't worry about it. Look. Can you see that car? Going off in the distance? Oh, they're fast, isn't it? It's no one looking for us, is it? Oh, no. Our car's covered up, uh, isn't it? Hmm. Anyway, they'd have to have everything good sight sight to see us from here, wouldn't they? It's probably just a, a yokel. Out for a bit of shopping or something. Is this nice little spirit cameras? No, but they are. No one's getting anywhere near here without us hearing them first. Guys, I'm, I'm shattered. I'm going to take a move in. Uh, yeah. oh, I can't convince you to have another drink. <laughs> no, no. I'm, uh, I'm just tired. I'll, I'll call it a night. Good night, Peter. Night, Pete. Good night. Oh, um, let me put my order in for breakfast. Um, bacon, eggy bread and toast, please. You'll be lucky to get toast. <sighs> Good night. Night, Pete. So, any more thoughts, Luce? What on? On us. Being official. I don't know why we have to keep it a secret anyway. I just think it would mess the group up. We are three, not two. Mm. I just don't like keeping secrets from Peter. I'm sure he knows anyway. What makes you think that? Oh, come on. I think he's gone to bed because he doesn't want to be a third wheel. We will tell him soon enough. It just doesn't seem like the right time with all this. I love you, babe. You too. Where did that come from? Just worried about today. I don't want to lose you. Look, I'm not going anywhere. I'm afraid you need to stop me. I can suffer that. You know, I can see us living somewhere like this. Away from all the hustle and bustle in London. You can actually breathe out here. What's that flashing light over there? Where? Over there. I don't know, it's probably a local dogger or something. You know what these places are like? Strange people, strange places. Should we join them? You are sick. Shut <laughs> up. Oh, it's gone now. Night, Pete. Night. I miss my phone. My hands are lost. Oh, yeah? I can find a use for them. <laughs> I don't... I don't care about seeing what people had for dinner or, like, how grown up my friend's kids look in their <laughs> new school uniforms. Get up. What the fuck is that? Should we wake up Peter? No. There's other houses out here. It's it's probably just someone on holiday. It's getting closer. I'll go check it out. Look, 
everything's going to be all right, I promise. It's no wonder you're so jumpy after today. <sighs> Excuse you... me. Uh... Yeah. How are you and what are you doing in my house? Uh, um, we... Did I give you permission? I'm sorry, um, Peter said this was his relative's house. No, no, no. It's my house. I, I want it fair and square and a bear. So, you mean Timkins, though, don't you? Uh, so, yeah, any friend of Timkins is a friend of mine. Don't worry about it. Actually, I run this place as a guest house now. Only £10 a night, including full English breakfast and an evening meal. What is going on up here? I'm, I'm afraid we're in this... Person's house? Uh, this is my relative's house. My uncle owns this house. No, no, I want it fair and square. Oh, Getting craps? Uh, no, no, actually, it's these knickers. They're right up my house. Oh. Listen, it's alright, it's all sorted now. It's fine. Uh, you do know I run this as a guest house? Oh, well, if you don't mind us staying, that, that's excellent then. Excellent. Uh, that's fine. It's. I mean, obviously, there's you know a few things to look out for. Um, I obviously treat the place as your own, but oh. no snooping around. No, 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 no touching anything that's not yours. Um, I'll be, may will be you know off to bed soon, but yeah, I'll make sure that uh, there's bed linen and towels available. Make sure there's no one in my bed. Oh, no, we will probably have to share tonight. So, um, strict rules though, any locked doors just remain locked, and that includes the food cupboards. And uh, oh, hot water will be available from 7 am till 8 am, and then again from 8, uh, 7, 8, 7 pm to 8 pm. Right, well, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. No problems. Uh, me and May will be off to bed soon. Uh, so, we'll come back to say goodnight. Pleasure having a guest stay. Yes. Right, well, that's all sorted then. Um, I'm off to bed. Did I? Huh. Yeah, night, Pete. Maybe we should go to bed too. Oh, I'm nowhere near tired yet. I've got an idea though. Teddy. Yes, my. It's so nice we finally have guests here. Yeah, it is. Get some sleep now, bird, little lad. But they're so lovely. Especially the squirmy boy. Mm. Yes. He is scrubby, isn't he? Mm. <laughs> Dad. Yes, my. Do you reckon I should in my special plate suit show me his? Time will tell. Mm. Time will tell. That would be... <laughs> <laughs> Don't get yourself overexcited. Get some sleep. Can you count the sheep for me? Yes, of course. <laughs> One white sheep jumps over the fence. Two white sheep jump over the fence. Three white sheep. This was a great idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Don't stop, just standing it good. <laughs> fuck off! Oh, you spoiled sports. What the fuck just happened? Country inbreds. <sighs> Look, don't worry, they're gone now. Yes. Yeah, no, you're probably right. Poor Soida. 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 There's a boy. Fucking Soida. 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 
Hey, Snyder! We got Snyder! 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 Oh, hurry up! Oh, you got too much. Snyder? Back up, me, you filthy animal. No cider. No cider. Get up, no me, you cider. filthy animal. No cider. I don't love you, I do. Love it. No cider. I got a boy, that's shit. Oh, cider. <laughs> yeah, you do. Give me that. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy cider. Hey, it's cider. Bastard. My cider. Your cider? Fuck it off, it's my cider. You would not have my cider. If I send you up, I'm just a fucking bastard. Yes, Doggy is empty. Oh, empty. Doggy empty. Empty. Oh, yeah. Bloody empty. Always bloody empty. 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 Oh, empty. Doggy. Oh, Doggy. Oh, oh. This is Peter McGinty reporting live from the sunny seaside town of Alfricum. We bring you this urgent broadcast. A woman's body has been washed up on the beach in Alfricum. Considered a suicide at first, she now appears to be the victim of a brutal murder. This is better. Yeah, finally some time with just us. Mm. You know, I think this is all over. I'm out. Out? Yeah. What an easy life with you somewhere. Yeah, so do I. But we are doing important work. <laughs> are we anymore? Just seems like we're committing crimes. Hey, they started it. <laughs> no, stop! <laughs> stop it! Do you two together? Um, yeah. Sorry, we'll be out in a second. Why is the door locked? Gav was just showing me a rash on a his rash. leg. A, a rash? Are, are you contaminated? No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm fine. I think I just got stung by something. We'll be down shortly. Oh, all right. Next time you think you've got a rash, let me know. We need to keep safe. Uh, I, I went, and Gav. If it's like the last time, I've still got some of that cream if you need it. No, I'm fine, thanks, Peter. Thanks for the offer, though. Why do you need cream? Uh, it's nothing, I promise. I think we should tell him. I think he'll be happy for us. Yeah? I think he'll be angry we're not focusing on the task at hand. Mm. Yeah, you're probably right. Mm. Come on. <sighs> It's so beautiful out there. Mm. Almost makes you want to quit and relax, eh? Haha, -ha. good joke. It's very funny. Right, I'm going to head into the town, into the city, find a telephone, ah, and make some calls. Why don't you use the house phone? I don't want anyone to be able to trace us there. Besides anything, I think the owner's very uh, strange between you and me and his daughter. What? That's his daughter? Yes. Didn't get that impression either. <laughs> she seems to uh, like you quite a lot. 
best not. Uh, why would it matter? No, it doesn't. I just think you can do better for yourself. Right, anyway, do you want to come into town with me? Well, it's probably best if one person goes, you know? Oh, yes. Yes, good point. Yes, I'll go. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Oh, um, can you grab me some female personal items? Right, yes. Tampons. Maxi. Sounds a bit. You were... No, later. I thought you said you were full of that. But... Later. Ah. Okay. Mm. Mm. Daddy. Mm. Yes, mate. The seaside strangler attacked again. It said so on the radio. Did he? Oh. Trams to death on our beach. I think he beat him with a stick. What? Were there were strangles? Yes, there were strangles. Oh. Daddy? Mm, yes, ma'am. Why would the seaside strangler go somewhere else? Because he's our special seaside strangler, sweetie. I'm feeling generous today, sweetie. What? Why don't you take this to brother? But Dad, I'm watching. Uh, May, now don't be bad, otherwise the strangler will get you. <laughs> Besides, Daddy has to learn his lines. Can't we watch? Never. No. Go and feed your brother. Mm. Right. Red pepper, yellow pepper, chop, chop. Red pepper. Yellow pepper, chop, chop. Red pepper, 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 yellow pepper, chop, chop. Chop, chop, yellow pepper, red pepper. Look what I've got for you, brother. <laughs> Bad brother! I think that daddy is a seaside strangler. But don't tell him because then we'll get strangles instead of cuddles. It's not funny! Show me your mouth. Now. Fine! Maybe you're right. <laughs> well, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, seriously. Maybe we should leave it all after this. Really? Yeah. I just want to be happy with you. Me too, babe. Hello! Hello! Have you seen my dog? Uh, come in. Uh, I, I was just walking you along the front. He's, uh, she's gone missing. Uh, no, we haven't seen any dogs. You're just going to have to keep looking. Uh, do you have a phone? My, my wife will be worried sick. I'm staying at the caravan park up the road, you see. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have a landline and our phone can't get any signal or even Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, we've got tea, though, if you'd like a quick cuppa. Ah, that, that would be fantastic, yes. Thank you both. No. <laughs> short weekend away. Ah, romantic getaway, is it? <laughs> Here we are. Still, weather's terrible, isn't it?
cold English summers, eh? Spain next year. Uh, two sugars, please. Oh. Ah. I thought you said you were here alone. What's going on? I can hear banging. Ah, Mr. Ringer. Hello, Mr. Ringer. Me and my wife are staying in the local caravan park. I was just walking my dog across the seafront and she went off track a little bit. I can't find her, you see. No. No? No. No. C can I not even charge no. my phone? No. Uh, Lucy, I left the uh, bath cat running. You couldn't run down and turn it off for me, could you? Thank you very much. No, I'm not going anywhere. I have a gun under my jumper, and I have snipers all around the house. What the hell are you playing at? Playing? I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm doing God's work, I think. You're going to have to leave immediately now before we call the police. Now just fuck off! <laughs> call the police? With what? A yogurt pot? <laughs> I've heard Morse code's good, you might want to try that, huh? <laughs> anyway, I can't drink that piss water. What I want is good, strong coffee. You know, biscuits taste better when you dunk them in tea or coffee. Releases the flavonoids, you know? You can't... You can't dunk it twice. Because the bugger right falls in! Mate, get off it. Stop playing with it. Sorry, about that. Uh, this is uh, Roger, my friend from the Amdram Society. Well, you were going to hurt the gorgeous one. Gorgeous. Anyway, time for rehearsal. Stick whiskey. Just the ticket. Good. Hi. <laughs> Woo! They've all gone. Bunch of lunatics. Absolutely. Although, with all these lunar local lunatics and the, and the seaside strangler, we'll blend in perfectly. No one will suspect a thing. Yes, good. Yes. One, two, three, uh, how did you get in? You don't need to know how. Just know I got in. Uh, first my wife, and now me? Bingo! You, 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 you oh, sodden sod. Sodden sod? That don't sound right. Oh, oh, let's just call it a night. If you say so. Good thing they gave me most of the lines. <laughs> Well, this is new, spending the night together. As long as we're quiet, no one gets hurt. <laughs> Strictly no going in lock rooms, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what he said about knocking and banging at night? I know, just ignore it. <laughs> Must be weird, like, that's like, gotta be when Doris or Derek or whatever her name is does gymnastics. <laughs> I don't! <laughs> Seriously though, is it a man or a woman? Like, I can't tell. Are you joking? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just playing around. <laughs> Seriously, like, they're, he, she is fine to be whoever they want to be. <laughs> I've noticed that May's been keeping her eyes on you. Yeah? Well, lucky, I've only got eyes for you. I don't know. 
I give them a world class support. And they don't even say thank you. No. Of course. No. Because they wouldn't know a good actor if he showed up and recited Hamlet to them. I want to feel the rain! Oh yes! This is the greatest performance of my life! Oh, I don't like ketchup. Don't worry. Any plans for today? Uh, not, not really, just to enjoy the few days off. <laughs> these are, are these your children? Yes, yes, I have a lovely couple of kids. Oh yes, so, no, no, that's absolutely fine. I got yes. in all the excitement yesterday. Yes. Yeah, but best to get these things out of the way, isn't it? Yes, so how much do I have Um Well, how long do you intend to stay? Well, well, um, a week, I think, a week. I, I remember, Pete, um, Dad, I thought you said it was two days. Yes, well, just in case, we'll say uh, four days. Okay, well, that's um, about ten pounds. Perfect, man. most reasonable, excellent, yeah. thank you. Per person per night. Well, yes, yes, naturally, naturally, yes. <laughs> so that's a, um, three nights. We'll, we'll have an extra night just in case. So, okay. so that's another 120. Oh, God, yes. Right, yes. <laughs> Jolly good. And, right, so uh, oh, yes. And, uh, of course, and, um, towels and linen. That's £10. Right. Yeah. Per person. Today. Right, right. So that's another £30. There. Yep. Excellent. Right. <laughs> per day. Per day, right. Another. Right, a jolly good. Right, that's yeah. all yeah, sorted yeah. then, yeah. right. Yeah, and then uh, of course there's uh, the uh, evening meal, that's ten pounds. Well, per person? Per day? Per right! Yeah. Jolly good! It's marvellous. <laughs> and, and then the uh, breakfast, uh, you had the continental breakfast, toast and juice. Uh, no, 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 they were our eggs and bread, we brought those, yes. Yeah. No, I chucked them, they'd gone off. I, I used uh, fresh ones from the uh, farm down the road. It, fine, no worries, you know, five pounds each. Yes. Per person today. Right, so that's another... 60 pounds. Right, 
Wait, 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 there, marvellous, marvellous. Look at those ones, thank you very much. Right, so good. Excellent, right. Oh, that that's sorted out. Um, oh, May and I do a wonderful uh, walking tour of the local area. It takes in all the areas of Prince Charles studies. That's very interesting. Jolly good. Uh, five pounds per Five pounds each, yes. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if I... Well, no, no, no I'll, I'll pay for you as well. Thanks so much, Dad. Who's that's right. Good. Two minutes. That's all. I can actually give you a small discount then. No. No? I'll, I'll pay full price. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, I'm back. How about my superhero outfit today? Yes, but why not? It looks so good in it. But try not to wear it for so long as last year. The last time you just wore it for so long, I have to keep washing it. Um, the neighbours must have thought we'd have. Entire dance troupe staying here was on the line for so long. I love dressing as a superhero, it makes me feel amazing. And you're very good at it as well. I think it's a bit schizoid actually, but yeah, nothing a good beating can't cure. Beating? Oh yes, beating the days. I, I, I do know a good doctor, you know. No, doctor! We don't mention you know who in this. Wanted to look at my ding dong, and we never went back, did we, May? No, Doctor. So, and this is where Prince Charles, you, Charles, you've heard of him, haven't you? you know, uh, this is where he stayed. It's like a home away from home, really. Um, and then when he was here, he always used to go for a picnic lunch uh, on the beach. And that's where we're heading to now. So let me just follow us. Pete, wait. There was green ooze in the shower this morning. Yeah, it landed on my breasts. You didn't, you didn't swallow, did you? No. Oh, should be fine then. Excellent. Come on, don't dilly dally.
The bodies which have been found on the beach and surrounding areas include both male and female victims. I can't take this anymore. I don't want to be naked. I've got to catch the seaside stream, but I've got to kill the real one this time. No, mate, you're just asking for trouble. It is very worrying having the seaside stream so close. I think we should do with a stronger police presence around here. <laughs> You'll be lucky. They've all been called to London. There's been a suspected terror alert or something there. What? What else did they say? What? Did they say what was going on? Or uh, uh, any information? Uh, no, nothing really. It just uh, that all police and armed forces have been called in. Then I have to look for him. <clears throat> so we know he's human. And we know he's a man. <laughs> that lets me out then, doesn't it, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> he kills both men and women. He doesn't leave a trademark like most serial killers. And the police say he's always in disguise. Could be a couple or maybe a group of them. No. Most serial killers will work alone. I mean, imagine working as a group killing. I mean, what if one of them got a change of heart? Went to the police or something. That won't work, May. True. Most serial killers will also kill victims that they don't like or aren't related to. So there's less of a connection. Mm. It could be anyone. There's quite a few strange people living out here in the sticks, you know. It could literally be anyone. I'm going to go for a walk along the front. Oh, uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll come with you. I can do with uh, some fresh air. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's probably just my cooking. <laughs> uh, May, just be careful. Don't make trouble halfway. Do you think it'll be safe when we leave tomorrow? Who knows? 
I'm starting to doubt if anything's actually going to happen. Why? That ooze came in the shower. Yeah, but he's still got most of it. Really? Yeah. He spent a lot of time alone with it. I don't know if we can trust Peter anymore. Don't be silly. It's Peter. Of course we can trust him. Yeah, but... He spent so much time alone with it. I'm wondering if he's planning something. The sooner we leave, the better. Just the two of us. Kissy, kissy, kissy! Oh my god, get away, you freak! I'll go see if she's okay. Why? Because I'm a nice guy, that's why. I'm sorry, Pete. We were going to tell you. Oh, I knew. I just didn't think it was appropriate at the moment. We're thinking of leaving together and seeing how it could work out. Oh, it won't. But you're more than welcome to leave. Oh, wow. Thanks. Say sorry about what Lucy said before. You're um, a freak. I am a freak. Daddy says I am. Well, I'd say he's more of a freak. <laughs> this broadcast with a special bulletin. The serial killer known as the Seaside Strangler is still at large. Two more bodies have been found washed up on the beach of Alfricombe. He's dead. Dead? No. No. No! <laughs> Don't be so good, he's dead already. You've only put yourself. Oh, never mind. I made fried eggs and brawn for tea. It'd be ready in about 20 minutes. There'll be no feeding in the future. What are you on about? Should we call the police? No! <laughs> I can't call the police because they would take brother away, won't they? No! No! We can't just see him like seeing ducks, can we? <laughs> Good evening. I do apologise for the dress code, but I am a plain clothed officer. We are going incognito trying to lure in the seaside strangler. 
Obviously, if I was wearing uniform, he would perhaps run away. There has been a body found close by, and we are seeing if anyone has seen something. I don't suppose that you've heard the radio broadcast. It's been a very busy day. Yes, I did. I saw something. The seaside strangler, he killed the pretty boy and then he turned him into a zombie. Well, I think you must come with me down to the station. She, she's just a simpleton. I, I, know, I know, I can talk about things. Daddy. It's all right. I, I just need to get dressed and I'll come be with you. Jesus Christ! What? You're a, you're a lunatic! You can talk. I've seen you with your green spillage. Diner's reckoning has come! We shall die and all be born again! The toxic will spread! And, 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 it, and the reckoning will be here! You're such a sick old fucker! I want you to die slowly! Uh, uh, I am your fucking reckoning, you! Gav! 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 Where are you? Lucy. Gavin? Is that you? Gavin? Gavin? Lucy. Oh my God, what have they done to you? Kiss me, Lucy. Kiss you? Please, Lucy. Gav. Gav, what are you doing? No, I'm with it now! <laughs> Well, that was lucky. Why? Uh, mate, you're, you're lucky today. Being a transvestite or bisexual isn't frowned upon. When I was growing up, I wasn't so lucky. I couldn't be myself. Grandad was the local vicar. He hated gay people. He felt they were diseased or had an illness or something. That they were no different to handicapped people. There was something, something wrong. For many years, I thought I was right. That the church was condemning being gay. The daily, I would lash myself, trying to be rid of the work. And then when Grandma died. I killed my father. I spent my life listening to other people's problems. He wouldn't listen or help me. You know what? Life is fucking hell. This is hell. We, we are all slowly dying. It's not a happy ending for any we all suffer and we shouldn't I couldn't suffer any longer and that, that we are suffering and suffering and suffering the hell we, we just oh, why are we living like this why are we afraid of dying it's just why? Why? 
Why? Like, we shouldn't be frightened. And strangling people. I just had that moment. That moment of power. And it was good. It was a rush. It was such a fucking rush. Oh, May. I am the seaside strangler, but I did it for you. <laughs> Mum was killed by the seaside strangler! Neighbourhood watch, what's all this noise?
Die.